Hey foodies, good uh, evening or good morning. It's morning already here. We're in the market of Davao City. Here in Davao, we have a fruit called durian. Uh, they call it, uh, uh, smells like hell, but tastes like heaven. That's what she said. You see a durian fruit there, so over there. It's actually very good. It tastes like vanilla, but it smells like, uh, eat. But we're here right now to eat something called balbakoa. It's the local version of Kalio. So here in the market at 2 o'clock in the morning, in a country or in a city which doesn't allow smoking and drinking and has a curfew, this is your best vice at this time. Let's check it out. Here in the corner stall of the market in Davao City is a place where they serve balbakwa 24 hours. As I said, at this time of the day or at night, there's nothing else you can do. You're allowed to smoke, there's a curfew for drinking. So, you get balbakwa. It's like kalio, it's just tripe, it's slimy, but it's very, very good. We're gonna hook up with my friend Jamila, we're we'll trying it out, but the place is packed, so we have to wait in line. I wish I could smoke. Although there is a lot of spots open in the market, this is the market. You can see those spots there with a lot of food. Comparative to a kapitiam in Singapore. But what Andrew Zimmern said is the rule of thumb is the best place that serves food is the place that's packed. So we have to wait in line. There's actually people waiting in line in this spot. I don't even know the name is. Full pack, as my friend Ramil is uh, saying. Ramil. Full pack. He's saying. So we're here right now and finally got to order. We got three chairs here. For me, Ramil, and my, and you, my cameraman, and the audience to share with us. I tried cooking for the Food Network, they didn't really pan out, so we we'll try eating. And we'll try it in a bit, so I'll see you when I'm putting something in my mouth. Okay, this is what we waited for. We waited for so long for this one, and we cooked it for a spoon. It's hot, but it's flavorful, spicy, creamy. You could see the oil floating. That's all the grit and grime that was left in the bottom of the pan when they cooked it. They boiled this cutlet of pork. I don't know what they put. I don't know if that's star anise. It actually tastes pretty sweet. But you could taste the tripey flavor from the, uh, I guess, the skin. Whatever it is, it's worth the wait. I want to talk to you. I want to eat, okay? Although it's hard to eat here because the place is packed. I'm, I'm eating side view. I feel like an Indian girl riding a motorcycle. One thing we ordered too is this uh, lechon kawale or liampo that's uh, deep fried. You dip it in the balbakwa sauce. It's slimy, I don't know if it's tomato. I don't think it's tomato. It sticks to it. Ah, it makes it even better. Even if it's crowded, the food is good enough to be enjoyed. I would eat it standing up in the corner or beside 10,000 people. This is real. Yeah, you I guess I did. Some good. <laughs> The place is crowded, the place is hot. As you can see, I am dripping with sweat. It's as hot as the soup they serve. They've got that one ceiling pan that just turns for effect. It's like a placebo, there is no wind coming out of it, but it's worth it. I mean, one of the things that I'd love to do after eating uh, in Pasi 3, after eating uh, Pulkachong, 
the sticky flavor stays. It's like tripe. It's like it's like uh, kalios, you know. You gotta wipe the sweat so hot. One thing I want to do is what Anthony Bourdain would do after his stuff. He'd have a drink and then would smoke a cigarette. But we're in Davao City, one of the most peaceful cities in the Philippines. One thing you gotta do is smoke here. And the other thing is that if you want to go here, although this is about seven kilometers from my hotel, it'll take you a while because you can only drive 30 kilometers in the city. So if you have a five-speed car, you might want to walk it. But apart from the fact that you can't smoke, it takes a while because you drive so slow. It is dripping hot. As you can see, it is worth it. This is Javi Bagatin in Davao City. Hopefully you're food hero. I don't want to cook. I just want to eat. That's why I'm fat. Telling you till the next time I see you, let's be in a different city. Let's try something else. I'm stuffed. Good night.